Taking notes ourselves these days is just simply too much work. I'm going to introduce you to two AI powered note taking apps that's going to make your life a ton easier. We're going to have a look at Otter AI. We're also going to have a look at Nota and see which one is going to give you the best value. So let's check them out. So I'm starting out here in Otter. You can see that the layout is pretty basic. As usual, you know, you've got your menu on the left hand side and then your main dialogue in the center. You've also got the addition of the calendar on the right hand side because this is essentially for uh, note taking during meetings. So you can connect your calendar and um, when you are having meetings, it will automatically transcribe the meeting notes for you. Uh, so we're going to go over on the left hand side. If you go to all conversations, this is where you will manage all of your conversations. Now I've gone ahead and uploaded some media which you can do straight from that home page you can upload video or audio and you can see here it'll give you a summary of what is happening within that audio and then it gives you of course the full transcription now i've gone through this and there's some spelling errors it's good but it's not amazing um it, it could be a lot better they do however have the chatbot on the right hand side over here, which is the Otter AI chatbot, which you can chat with. If you're uncertain about anything on the left hand side, there's the Otter AI chat. Um, I did um, start chatting with the bot and it did give me some answers. It also gave me links to things that I needed to know within the app. So I asked, it's, uh, you know, my first time here, how do I upload a file to transcribe? And it gave me all the instructions, but it also gave me links directly to um, doing so within Otter. So it's a fantastic platform. Uh, it's very sort of basic. I like it. And um, on the left hand side, you can access different um, arrangements of apps where you can connect to. So if you are communicating on Slack, um, if you're using Salesforce, HubSpot, Zoom, whatever it is here, you can actually just add it in and um, you can have all of your stuff transcribed while you're working on these platform so it's great it's a great integration i'm going to jump to nota now and from your home page you can see the menu again on the left hand side you've got your home page on the right hand side you've got the options to record import you can also transcribe a live meeting as we said previously you can connect your calendar so these options to connect your calendars and transcribe your meetings automatically from your calendar is an option Again, you can see I'm going to go in to the same file that I uploaded to Otter and it did a little bit of a better job actually in the actual transcription part. So I've got my entire transcription here. I am on a free plan, so it actually hasn't given me <laughs> everything. I, I think it could have given me everything because I have a limited amount of um, transcriptions that I can upload. I think when you go into your meeting section and you're having a meeting transcribed, it doesn't it doesn't blur out any of the transcription. That's still fun. You can translate this also now into a different language. Um, we also have that AI chat bot over here, which you can go ahead and um, summarize. You can um, have a little bit more of a discussion on what was transcribed. Uh, this is though included in the plan, so. If you're using the free version, it's not really going to work very well. You can see on the left hand side, you have um, commands so you can have a look at, you know, what was actually being said if you're having a meeting within this transcription. Again, we're going to go down to the settings and you can go to the integrations. There's a couple integrations that you can do here, not as many as Otto. So in this department, Otter does perform a little bit better, but still it's got your main integration. So if you are using any of these platforms, you can actually just um, connect them and they will work within um, each other. So you can do your transcription within these apps, which is fantastic. It's all going to be in one place and it's uh, that's awesome. I'm having a look at these two platforms and Nota kind of feels like easier to move around with. Otter on the other hand just feels to me like it's giving more value and more features it's, it's a little bit more feature rich and i'm gonna have to go with otter i have actually used otter in the past for transcription 
and it was pretty accurate. I just I felt this time it wasn't accurate with the names of certain softwares within the transcription that it did for me. So so it identified that the content was about video editing apps. However, it failed to get the names correct. So we were speaking about Hey Jen and Synthesia and I just got these hey and Jane kind of weird words and Cynthia, you know, so it kind of it mixed that up a little bit. However, I do feel that it is a better platform. Um, as I mentioned, it's got better features. So what do you folks think? Is Otter the best option or is Nota the best option? Let us know in the comment section. We'll see you next time. Peace.